Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some new information and sort of going over all the details we have for Episode 1 because most of the cast are back in Vancouver, they're all getting ready, and they are starting to shoot just next week. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you know, made the video the other day, we talked about Danielle Panabaker actually making that post, supposedly confirming Cisco's returning, that maybe Carlos is actually sticking around, at least for a while, obviously we don't know, but it seems like Cisco and Carlos are going to stick around, at least for the first part of the season. So, basically she said, and she posted that, I think on the 22nd, she says, in two days time, I'm going to see my favourite people see my favorite guys and now it's the 25th so they've had their official first read through with the cast and so this has happened so they've got the full script they've gone through it they sort of have been told the rough outline for the season to come and they have this every year this is a meeting where they'll be like okay so we got number one this is gonna happen in this and then we have sort of like episode two three four and five this is the rough idea and then I'm guessing they'll give like a rough overview for the season, you know, because these TV shows do write as they go along, so they have a sort of concept for the season and things may change in between, that's why we get lots of deleted scenes, lots of deleted storylines that you hear about, so yeah, basically the table reads, they're just going through it, all the cast, like the main series regulars, so that they can shoot next week, so that's July 2nd, so mark that down. Hopefully they shoot outside so we get some behind the scenes photos, we can make some videos on that and we can talk about that because that's very exciting and can't wait to see the new content that they have. And so Grant Gustin actually went on to Instagram, he posted these photos and it's a side by side and you see him with his hiatus beard that he has basically every year so he normally grows a beard whilst he's on break and then to confirm, yeah, I'm back in Vancouver, I'm back to do this. He has shaved it all off, he looks like a 15 year old now, looks like an 18 year old probably more likely, and he is back as the Grant version of Barry that we know. Which is just kind of weird, like, I know it's really not to do with the Flash, but like, just the difference. I'm like, oh, this is a completely different person, he's like, maybe 30 he looks, and then he looks about 18 in the other photo, so that's nuts. But anyway, so he's in his full Barry gear, he's got his hairs grown back, that's a big thing to note because at the end of the season he actually shaved a lot of his hair and he cut it down a lot and that was in May, so now it's nearly July. His hair's grown back pretty damn fast and it looks back to normal, so all back to normal, we all sort of by the end of the season we were like, why did he get his hair cut, like is this going to be completely different, are we going to see like a different version of Barry, and you know he's just changed his hairstyle but no it's all back to normal he's looking normal he's back in Vancouver for that table read so you see the difference you know maybe one day we get an old man Barry storyline like Logan I, I think that'll be interesting but anyway so he's back and we have Gregory Smith directing this episode that has been announced so he did the finale so that is very fitting legacy episode 22 of season 5 so, you know, all the reverse flash stuff capping off the end of the season. So it's very fitting that he would do the season premiere because it's, you know, his episode, then his next episode. Although the two separate seasons, he's sort of continuing. So he has the idea of where to go from this. And obviously he's working with the writers, the new showrunner, which we'll talk about in a sec. And sort of everything going on around there. So that's very exciting. He also did Flash Time, Enter Flash Time. In season 4 that was probably the best episode of that season so that's a good thing and into the speed force back in season 3 really like that that was the return of Eddie Thorne so he's a very solid TV director he's done a good job with the flash episodes he's had very confident about this especially because he directed the finale so he knows sort of how to continue on to the next season and do it cleanly as possible and so yeah the new showrunner Eric is going to be coming very soon and Eric Wallace has been very much so accepted and you know loads of people are super excited I'm super excited to see what happens next 
and so David Atarazia on Twitter who works on the Flash set and he has a lot of information that we've been going over recently because he provides a lot of updates and it's really helpful. So he's been saying big praises about Eric and all the work that he's been doing. Apparently he's got an amazing concept for the whole season so that sort of gives away that they are thinking big right now because, you know, with a new showrunner, there is obviously a big burden that they are taking on. Although Eric, of course, was working on the show prior in a smaller role, but still a pretty big role, he now has to take on this whole load that Todd Helbing has left behind. So Todd just left, and you know now we have the replacement that is Eric, and it just seems like everything's sort of going in the right direction. I think, especially if they go back to say season two, especially with say them bringing in Red Death who very much so reminds of Zoom and maybe darkening the tone a little bit more until we get to that season 2 tone because I think season 2's tone is the perfect tone where it's dark but also you have those comedic elements but I think they got it right and obviously the speed the villain the idea of the mystery I think they're going to bring all of that back fingers crossed it's what I'm hoping for and I think Eric is going to be a nice new sort of breath of fresh air because if you didn't know Todd did season 4 and season 5 I don't believe he did season 3 you could correct me if I'm wrong but he had to deal with the backlash that came after season 3 and he had to deal with the backlash that came after season 4 because they are two of the sort of most not accepted seasons I really like season 3 and I really don't like season 4 so with season 5 I think he did a great job and so the two seasons were obviously very stressful for him because, you know, there was not good reactions on either of them. Although there was some positive, I think there was more positive for season three. More people really didn't like season four because of the changes were completely different. It did not feel like The Flash. So Todd had a lot on his shoulders and I think a breath of fresh air with season five being very much so accepted as a very good season although some people like it less, but some people really like it like me. I think he's in a good place right now, and, and it seems to be going all well. And so going on to the last couple of things in this video, so David actually left another tweet. Once again, I'm going to leave his Twitter in the description below, so you can go follow him for the updates. But he replies to a lot of these comments, and he actually posts a lot in terms of updates, as I've been saying throughout the last few weeks. So this is a new tweet that he tweeted, The Flash. Holy crap, I can't believe we go to camera soon. It's all coming together nicely, I think. The first episode is big, but our director has a clear vision, so it's going to be great. So this is exciting to hear. And so the idea that it's going to be big, obviously, you know, he works on the show. Of course, he's going to big it up a bit. But, you know, because it's big, I expect them to set up some ideas that they're going to sort of continue on. That's the gist that I get from this. I really hope they don't introduce Red Death or whoever the main villain is straight away because that has been a big error in the past few seasons with the Thinker and Cicada being dragged along the whole season. Because if you look at Savitar, if you look at Reverse Flash, if you look at Zoom, none of them started in the first episode. Obviously Harrison Wells was there in season one, but you know we had no idea about Reverse Flash really, apart from the flashback obviously with him actually being killed. So we didn't know that first. So, one of the comments he left recently was, this is what he said, Nora's leaving has definitely had an impact on all of Team Flash, but most of all, Barry and Ira. So he's talking about the impact going into Season 6. So, with Nora leaving, the impact, he says, is definitely big. And it's going to be especially big on Barry and Iris, but it seems like what he is inferring, you know, her loss and her oration has actually affected you know some of the other characters as well because you know they all got to know Nora and I'm wondering if they introduce new characters I don't know if they're going to do that straight away or maybe that's the idea that they will tease in the first episode as to why it's so big but the impact is definitely going to be seen with West Allen with those two and you know their relationship going forward because they are destined to have a child at least in the other timeline, who would become Nora, and now because of the timeline changes she's been erased, the impact of that is, they're not going to ever see that version of Nora again, it's going to be a completely different version, but, you know, it's probably good, because in the end, Barry's going to be fine, and 
the timeline is going to be better so that whoever their child is in the future has a better life than Nora had in the future, you know, with that version of Iris and then Barry actually not being around. So, yeah, what do you think about all this? Are you excited for episode one? This has been more of like a sort of details video going over some of the new information over the past few days or so. So, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos. I'm going to be at San Diego Comic Con this very summer. It's going to be in July and I will be in LA for a few days from July 16th to July 17th and I will be in San Diego. I'll go down on the train and I'll be there for five nights. So yeah, if you're in LA, San Diego or if you're coming to Comic Con, please be sure to let me know. That would be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.